turned 13, I've been doing my own thing, making my own moves. 24-7, 365. I wear what I want, say what I want, and I will not hesitate to do a spontaneous cartwheel if I feel so moved. <laughs> oh, crap! Not to brag, but being 13 means I'm officially a grown-up, at least according to the Toronto Transit Commission. Good for you. Hustle. Am I right? Breakfast is ready. Mm. Mm. No sugar. Mm. Coming. Mm. Porridge. Oh. This isn't happening. This isn't happening. Are you sick? Is it a fever? A stomach ache? Chills? Constipation? No. Wait, is it that? Did the did the red peony bloom? No. Maybe. <gasps> For Don's coming to Toronto. What? Ah! 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 It's me. Calm down, right? I'm gonna let go, and you're gonna be chill. Got that? <laughs> Chill. May? Are you a werewolf? No! What? <laughs> He's a red panda! Sick. You're so fluffy! You're so fluffy! I've always wanted a tail. Priya, Abby, quit it! May, what the heck happened? It's just some, you know, inconvenient, uh, genetic thingy I got from my mom. I mean, it'll go away. Eventually, maybe. <laughs> oh, hey. I hate this. I, I'm sloppy. I'm, I'm smelly. My mom won't even look at me. And you know, Boar Town. When are they coming? May 18th. They just announced it. May 18th? There's no way this will be gone by then. Just, just go, go become women without me. May. <laughs> It's gonna be okay. No, it, it's not. I'm, uh, I'm a freak. Just, just leave me alone. <laughs> Tickets to Four Town are like a bajillion dollars, and Devin's right here. And free! Silly. She's lost.
lost weight. Oh, no, she gained she weight. She looks like her mother. She looks like her father. Ladies. Mother. Hey, Grandma. Oh, dear. It must be so difficult keeping that unruly beast at bay. Your family is here now, Mimi, and we will take care of everything. The scene is called Intro Mei Lin. When we first came up with the idea for how do we introduce these two characters, Mei and Ming, this kind of popped into my mind because it shows one that Ming is this in charge, scary, but fierce and amazing woman and that Mei is totally enamored with her mom and sees her mom like a goddess. And that's kind of the main heart of the movie. We realize that, oh, like it's taking a long time for Mei to turn into a panda. And the movie played perfectly fine without it. And that's when you know you probably don't need the scene. Thank you for making a warm holiday memory at Miracle Mart. Say, Miracle Mart, where miracles start. Miracle, miracle Mart, where, where miracles, miracles start. start! Photos will be ready in about three days. Uh, I think I blinked. Can Sorry, we... no redos. But... Next! Oh. What is this? Ming Li and daughter Mai? We waited two hours, 27 Mine? minutes for this. Do you think that's reasonable? Uh, Why are you so understaffed? Hasn't Miracle Mart heard of seasonal hiring? Please help yourself to a festive accessory. <coughs> no! Thank you. We have our own vision for this. Hi. Now, lift the tray towards mommy. Firm arms, square shoulders, just like we practiced. Hmm. How do I look, Maymay? So beautiful, Mama. How do I look? Perfect. Say Miracle Mart, we're miracles. We're not doing that. The name of the scene is called Taming the Panda. The reason why I love this scene so much is it really showcases the classic Asian parent and Asian kid dynamic, which I really wanted to kind of show in this movie. So this scene is kind of like her mom kind of teaching her the ropes of how to control her panda because her mom had it too and her mom was able to suppress her emotions and stay human and she's trying to impart that wisdom to her daughter. Strong body, strong mind, Fei Fei. And one, two, three, four. Controlling the panda is about staying calm. Two, three, four. Stir the porridge. That's it. Stir the porridge. We can't have anything that could trigger you. No TV, no friends. What? But friends are a distraction, Fei Fei. This is a family matter. Smoother, like me. Look. Guide your hips in a figure eight. <gasps> That's it, Fei Fei. Wonderful. Breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. This scene is called Four Town Dilemma. In this version of the movie, the temple, the house, everything is at risk of being taken away by the bank. Faye is under this immense pressure to be their new tourist attraction, but she wants to be like a fun party panda at school. So her conflict is, do I be one panda or another panda? Eventually we realize, oh, her dilemma should be more like, should I be human or should I be a magical panda girl? Number 12. He's got delts for days. I'm sure he's a very nice young man. Frey, come on. It's no fun ogling by myself. Look, I've only got one mission right now. Get into Santa Cat Arena by saving the temple. Nothing else matters. Oh, 
Okay, then I guess you wouldn't be interested in this. Tickets to Ford's house tonight? Mm-hmm. Floor seats. Ugh! How did you get these? It's been sold out for weeks. Divorced parents. Their guilt is my gain. Too bad it's not part of your mission. Did I say that? It's totally my mission to to boost my morale so I can be the happiest, holiest panda ever. Does that mean you're in? Um, is Baby I Love Your Jeans the second track on their third album? Of course I'm in! The name of the scene is called The Debate. In this version of the story, May is trying to run for class president and the panda kind of gets in the way of that. But then we realize the class president thread was kind of like a complicated extra little plot thread that we didn't really need. Eventually the class president thread just went away. So that's why the scene was deleted. Good morning, beavers. Let's give a big welcome to your class president candidates, May Lee and Tyler Nguyen Baker. Yeah, May the president. <laughs> Ready to get trounced to bod? In your dreams, Dorcas. Each candidate will now give a statement. May, take it away. Thank you, Principal Parsons. My fellow beavers, we are on the precipice of change. As Gandhi once said... Hey, y'all. Some of you might not know this, but May's been out with a wicked case of explosive diarrhea <laughs> that started when she ripped one so hard in math that they actually had to cancel class. That is a lie. Uh-oh. No more interruptions, I was Tyler. home dealing with a family emergency, Tyler. What were you busy doing? Bugging bio? <laughs> nice. Oh, snap. Stay cool, man. Don't engage. Don't play into his dirty little hands. Newsflash, uh, uh, B-minus is not flunking. You stuck up, goody-goody, loser. <laughs> okay, everyone, time out. <laughs> Who are you calling a loser, brakes face? Collateral damage. I'm okay. Go, May. Keep going. to mess around. May is semi-based off of myself and my bride or die dork squad. <gasps> and she is the apple of her mom's eye. They are basically joined at the hip. Give me five. Yeah. I play the character of Ming, who is May's mom. Ming is a little, I would say hypervigilant, but loves her daughter deeply. Everything changes for May when she wakes up one morning and she's a giant, eight-foot-tall, furry, red panda. Ah! This isn't happening. Ooh. She's feeling like this is the worst thing ever. Her friends are right there to be like, it's not the worst thing ever. I'm a furry, digging time bomb of awesomeness. And now you can come with us to Fort Town. I'm never gonna let you go. Are the world's greatest boy band. May's first crush, her mom would not approve. Why are they called Fort Town if there are five of them? When we got approached about this project, we, we leapt at the opportunity. It's literally been the most fun we've had writing. From the music, the animation, the characters, <laughs> and then the story itself, it's a very specific vision coming from Dome. What makes Turning Red so universal is that it really taps into that awkward time in all of our lives. I'm finally figuring out who I am. Everyone goes through it and you will survive and thrive.